By now, we all as truck drivers should have been seeing what has happened to yellow trucking. I've told you guys before, don't think because you're a company driver that you are safe. These guys has been screwed around so bad. As you can see, they don't care about you. The only thing that they care about is what goes in their pocket. And when things go south, they gonna make sure it stays in their pocket and not yours. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. So if you wanna make more money and uh, keep the money that you make, better call Saul. <laughs> I agree. I agree, man. I, I, I've been talking about the ills of the industry for a little bit. Not to distract you, though. I mean, if you really want to get into it and and do the damn thing, come on. Come on. Grab them and, and grab them and go. But these companies, these big companies like Yellow, Celadon, Arrow, and the rest of them, that has closed down in the past or filed bankruptcy in the past. These are some huge companies. These are some decade old companies that are shutting down and filing bankruptcy. These people have been driving for these companies for 15, 20, 30, 40 years, 40 years. Now, as you guys know, Yellow has combined with multiple companies to come, you know, to combine with the company where they at right now. Companies like Roadway, remember them? Uh, Conway, remember them? They all combined into Yellow. Yellow is the largest LTL trucking company out here. And again, like I said, decades, decades of of truck drivers that's that's been driving for that company it's a unionized company it, and you can see as a unionized company there the company still shut down the company still shut at their doors the company still filed bankruptcy and as you guys may know back in the day that they was that i mean as you guys may know before the shutdown the drivers was going to strike could that possibly have something to do with it <sighs> don't know don't know don't know but listening to a lot of these millennials that's that's over here talking about we're, we're not giving no loyalty to these companies no more you're you're not we're not giving no loyalties hold on i don't believe in the whole two week notice thing oh why am i giving you two weeks to let you know that i'm leaving when if you were going to fire me or lay me off you would let me know that same day oh I need to set boundaries. So the same respect that you would give me, I'm gonna give you back. Jobs and corporations don't treat us with the same respect and loyalty that they expect for us to give them. If you want me to give you two weeks, I need you to at least give me a month to get my life together because a lot of people have children, elderly parents or grandparents that they have to take care of. A lot of people are on disability. A lot of people are preparing to have a family. A lot of people are probably on the verge of an eviction notice or homelessness. So the same respect and loyalty that you want me to give your brand, I need to feel that. And if not, y'all gonna get the same immediate notice that you would give me. And I'm beginning to understand why. Because these trucking companies that are shutting down are not giving you no loyalty. All the time spent, all the blood, sweat, and tears put into it. And the only thing that you got out of it is a watch. It's a thank you. It's a settlement for a couple of months. And then after that, you have to start all over with a new company now a lot of you drivers that's like in the 60s or 70s what what, what y'all gonna do y'all was making y'all was making good money and now you got to turn around and start at the bottom of the totem pole regardless of your experience you're gonna you're, you're not gonna come in at a new company making what you was making that yellow think about that 
Think about that. For real, for real. If you was making good money, and I don't know how much money you was making, but I'm sure it was good if you was there for 20 plus years. I'm sure the money was good. That's why you never left. You're going to come in making way less than that. Maybe you can negotiate a little a little bit more, but you're not going to be at where you was at when you was at yellow. Now all these companies is coming around offering you opportunities. Hey, yellow drivers, we looking for you. We can help you. No, they looking for the 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 younger yellow drivers. They looking for the 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 10 and under drivers. Maybe maybe a, an occasional 20 here and there, but the drivers that that been there for for the period? No. No. They're not looking for you. They're not looking for you because they know that the younger drivers need a job. They know that. That's why they reaching out. That's why all of these companies, all of these headhunters, all of these recruiters is coming on Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram over here saying, oh, yellow drivers, we're here for you. We're here for you. We understand that you need to take care of your family. We understand that you still need to make money and everything. Come to us. Come to us. But they're not going to reach out and, 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 and reach out to you older ones. Nah. Nah, y'all stay away. Stay away. We we don't have the money for you. The younger ones, yeah. Yeah, the tens, then and maybe the maybe the occasional twenties. We 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 got you. We got you. Because you know, you know, driver, you know that when you come in over to us to start all over again at the bottom, regardless if you're a yellow driver or not. Uh, hey, man, how are you? Oh, hey, man. You remember me? Uh... Why don't you make me a double espresso macchiato with extra foam? You got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you make it like your life depends on it? With extra foam. You're going to start at the bottom, maybe 50, maybe 60, maybe, maybe you can negotiate, but for the drivers, the older drivers, they, they're not negotiating with you because I understand driver, you, you're not going to go and work for a mom and pop or another, uh, mega carrier and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to come in at 60 cent a mile. No, no, you're not. No, you're not driver. No, you're not. You, if you're an older driver, maybe in your 60s or 70s, bro, just, just, just take your pension and, and, and hang up the keys because the money that the money that you're making is not the money that you was going, that you're going to get when you get with another company. I may be wrong on this, but I, I think I'm right. I think I'm right because I, I've been saying this for other drivers that if you're at a company for more than three years and you making that good money and then you turn around and get with another company that's that's not giving you the same money because I, I talk to these I, I talk to these companies I talk to them hey will you match the money that I was making if I come to drive for you Nope. That's that's our opening offer. That's that's our offer coming into the door. And what is that? 60 cent. And then you'll get a you'll get a raise next year and maybe you get a raise next year or maybe you'll get a raise year after that or whatever the case, but if you not if you at the company and you making that money and you you have you know have visions of grandeur of going over to another company thinking that it, that the grass is greener on the other side man you better cut that grass and stay on the uh, stay on the side and keep that grass cut yep that's what i'm telling you better do that
yellow drivers i do feel for you i feel for the celadon drivers i feel for the arrow drivers i feel for all the drivers that was affected by companies that went under that closed up shop right up under your nose what about the company early this year in 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 florida just done because of because of uh freights freight rates fuel we can't handle it no more you're done out bring the truck back park it thank you here's your last check and we'll give you a settlement for maybe a couple of months and then that's it you're done we're over with now you got comp now you got black ops companies in illinois over here reaching out trying to take advantage yellow drivers i am so sorry you know i understand man there's no loyalty there's no loyalty that's why these that's why these gen z uh the gen z's yeah they, they they they're not giving you no loyalty that's why when they come into the trucking industry they 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 looking at this as a job they ain't looking at this as a as a career or or lifestyle that's what they looking at it they over here you, you you can see that by them making tiktoks they don't care they just want to get they want to use the truck as a trending thing so they can so they can get off the truck with the money that they made and do something else they don't want this they don't want this this they don't want because they foresee it they're not going to put that and that's not just what trucking is what is what any industry that they that they are in two week notice hell no hell no that's that's out the door yeah we need you to give us a two week notice no no that's no that's a done deal no you dislike yellow drivers just got kicked to the curve did yellow drivers get a two week notice well considering the fact that it was an ongoing process maybe that was yellow's way of giving the drivers a two-week notice i guess but overall overall did yellow get did yellow give them a two-week notice that's why these gen z's ain't giving no more two-week notice man no nah, we're done we're out we're out we ain't giving you we, we gonna park the truck and we're done we don't need to give you a two-week notice because you're not giving us none there's no loyalty none period y'all see what lo what loyalty got yellow so again man i mean you know just, i mean i i feel for these companies i feel for you drivers if you find that company and that company treats you well hopefully that company takes you into your twilight years and you're able to retire from that company i hope i pray for you drivers <laughs> what do you think man who's next? Next, 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 next who's next who's next on the chopping block because it seems as though there's a company every year like maybe two or three companies a year who do you think let me let me know who do you think is next on a chopping block in the comments below i don't know i hope i don't fall <laughs> coming over me i swear that this is that place to be in the water in the the water hey.